Hey everyone, welcome back. How you doing? Hopefully this video is finding you well. Just got back from a nice little trip. I uh, took uh, the uh, rooftop tent out on a little excursion to eastern Washington with my son and hooked up with some few a few people, had some, oh, had, <laughs> had fun, but also had a quite an interesting journey. But that's for another video another time. Today is a video, it's a stuff. And of course, like this title says, I was so excited to find out that this box arrived while I was gone. So we're gonna head down to the shop, open it up, and show you all what this is like. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on, let's get in there. Alrighty, everybody, let's get you set up because look at that, it's a box, yes. Ah, oh, alrighty. I have been so eager to get something like this. I have a good idea what's in here. Although, <laughs> the box says one thing, and when I got home, I realized the, the original tape, which is this orangey yellow mustard looking, was cut up here. And it was resealed with clear tape. So, I'm not sure if what the box says, it was supposed to be in this box, is actually in this box. but. This is, of course, a gift from Pelican. And my buddy John, once again. So I do, oh, 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 John. Oh, guys, this is so cool. So the box is saying what it is. Oh, man, I got brown paper, woo -hoo! No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, guys, this is cool. Look at this. Oh, man, oh, man. Look at that, I got a clear plastic bag full of a bunch of stuff inside it. <laughs> no, let's see here, let's open it up over here. This is a Pelican camera backpack. Oh man, now what model is this? What model did this end up being again? This was the S130. Oh wow, this is cool. Oh man, Pelican and John, you guys are awesome. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. This is sweet. Let me take the bubble wrap off here. Oh, wow. This is... Oh, my God. I've never seen one of these things up in person. I just saw stuff, you know, on, online. And look at that. Big, thick padding right there on your shoulders. Wow. And rigid. Oh, man. This thing is... It's super rigid. I have never... I'm just kind of learning, it says built-in case. Right there, it says built-in case. I got a little lever right here, so I'm not, I don't know anything about this. Oh, that pops open. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's for a laptop. And they give you little padded things for your laptop and stuff. I don't have a laptop yet. Yet. Maybe one day. But, whoa, that is so cool. This is something else. I think I'm going to have to bring you guys in to show you more about what this is. But yeah, it's got a little pouch right there. and Oh, man. So first off, look at the padding on this. So you got good shoulder straps right here. Really nice non uh, no ripstop type nylon. I don't know what type of nylon. I just I don't know much about the pack right now. I am going to have to look into all this. This is slick. Uh, there'll be uh, a link for this down below and uh, any kind of description and information, you'll find it all down below. Um, man, a little waist belt. This is so nice, a thick padding. Wow, this is amazing. Really thick padding right here. And then right there on your shoulders too. I'd imagine this could get heavy with a laptop and stuff. Really nice indeed. <coughs> so here's that lever. So that just lifts up like this. It's almost like they're Pelican cases. So it locks down in place and you hit this button and this will help unlock the lever and then it pops open just like this so then you have your laptop case in here and this is foam and uh, they use these inside the laptop to keep it from bouncing around depending on the thickness so you'll put this foam in here <coughs> and you'll see these little tiny grooves and stuff I can't open this anymore because of the nylon it doesn't allow this to open up any more than this but there's these little tiny squares inside here you know like this one right here and such that you can put these little foam discs in these little foam discs they'll sit inside there so when you close this they'll actually sandwich your laptop 
and keep it from bouncing around and shifting around. Nice indeed. So that locks up just like that. You got a carry handle so you can carry it like a, uh, a case. Now up here we have a zip a zipper. Again, really nice water waterproof uh, zippers here because they seal when you close it. It seals up so it doesn't get any water infiltration. That is really cool and a really nice really nice grab tie right here. It's kind of like a shrink wrapped uh, cord. They got cordage here with a little heat wrap around that or something. That's really cool. And then this is really soft, so sunglasses, iPhone, um, it's a really soft material in the inside of this. And that's big. I mean, that's really big right there. Uh, then you flip that over, and of course you saw these buckles. These are a really good positive lock buckle with a, a, uh, adjustments to, to cinch that down tight. Open that up like that, flip open the flap, and we have another pocket on the inside. This is what I thought was neat because hopefully it'll come out on video right here, but these are little pockets for like batteries or something. They're not very deep, so you could probably fit something like a flash drive in there. And then they have two little things here for pens. And then you have a pocket right here too. And then you have, of course, you have cinch on both sides like that. So it opens this up really well. And this is another storage area. So this is the back of the pack. You hear that? This is that pocket that we'll get to in a second, but this folds down and that's nice so you can store things up in here. And then this of course will close over it. So you've got a lot of ability to, to you could pack this thing nice and tight with product. That is cool. That is really nice. And now the meat and potatoes is this part of the pack. And it, again, that's hard. That's a hard plastic there. And then a, uh, it's not leather. It's like a, a, a vinyl type, but it feels kind of like a leather, but that's not leather. It's 25 liter. Okay. IP rating is 67. I don't know what that means. I'm not familiar with a lot of this stuff here. And then they show you here, this actually, the insert here, this yellow insert actually comes out just like that. And it comes a full on zippered case. You can put all your camera stuff in, leave this empty and fill this with other things and use it for something else. But that's cool. So when you put this in here, this is the part that was up here at the top. This is at, this was at the top that allows you to put protection here and to pad the inside. So let's put this back in here again somehow. Whichever way is the best way to do it. There we go. There we go, right there. That is nice. Wow. And these are little Velcro straps to kind of keep everything in place. So let's, uh, hold on here guys. Okay, we got some lenses. Here's a lens. We got a big lens right here. I don't use that big lens too often, but look at that, that could fit. Could fit like this, and then this goes over here. Okay, I feel that, but maybe should we put it this way? Well, that's kind of cool. So you can flip that around, do that. I could even probably put the padding. Yeah, see, I could do that. So I'm gonna put the pad, let's take this out. So I could take this pad, I could put it like this. So now my lens is right here, so it's not gonna bounce around. I don't even know if you're gonna see that, there it is. So here's the lens. So if I need to get the lens, I can pull it out just like this, but then I can tuck it back in again, and now it's protected. That's neat. Then I have this little lens, I can slide that right there. And then they give you these little Velcro spots, so I could easily put this right here and there, and that will keep it from bouncing around. That is nice. And then of course you can zip this shut so it's gonna protect everything. So cool, so cool indeed. Let's see, I've got a GoPro. Or I could put the GoPro, it could probably go up here easily enough or in one of these little pockets here, because it's so small. So that's that's good, but we've got the old Nikon One. Remember, this is one of the first, this is the camera that I was first using for the channel. And uh, there's plenty of room right in there. That Nikon One will fit right there perfectly. There's the extra lens. I could put that right there. That, that's, wow, that works really good. I'm liking that, that is really nice. So we can, we can make some progress. And then of course there's areas that can adjust everything because we're gonna have to figure out, well, what about you guys? You're on a camera right now, so we have to get you inside the pack. Yep, 
And as you see, it's all sitting right there still. I just, I'm moving the camera case around. It's really nice in there. And then you got plenty of protection. I mean, it does, it does stick up a little bit. So honestly, I bet you, if I were to do this, let me just do that. I'm just going to put that in there. I bet you, oh yeah, see, that's not, oh yeah, that's not an issue at all. That's nice and protected because this lid is padded. This lid's padded about a good quarter inch or so of padding. And there it is. There's the, there it is. I'll just probably reverse them. I'll probably put the big one down below since it's a little heavier. But that'll work perfectly and it'll give me more room for more storage. But really nice indeed. Cinch this down. Keep it tight. Doesn't move around. So I guess, let me get this thing on for you. All right here. Oh, the straps are pretty good. Yeah, you can feel it. That's nice. It, it feels weird because, you know, how the pads are. But uh, honestly, that's not a bad pack at all. This is really nice. Oh, yeah. You can see, I don't know if, yeah, if it'll come across, but you can see where the contact points are at. And it's actually right in, at the waistline. I didn't even adjust the straps. I just put it on. And uh, that's cool. That's nice. I mean, I could easily take off do this I'm carrying this pack with me I got my hands free I got the pack doesn't sit completely flat on your back because those those three pads actually keep the rest of the pack off your body so what ends up happening is you've got airflow I've got air ventilation through here and uh, that's really nice I mean they're, they're soft but they're firm so I don't think you know I don't think I'm you're not gonna load this with you know 100 pounds or 80 pounds of gear and you're definitely probably not gonna do a a 20 mile hike up mountains and doing all this kind of stuff with it with a t-shirt maybe if you had double layer it'd be different so it's not a hiker's backpack is what i'm trying to say so if you don't don't look at this in a hiker's backpack type of uh you know eyes look at it as what it is take your i could probably fit a a uh, um what do you call them the dji those drones uh, you can fit a drone on the back of this easily enough inside there. It's controller. I can put a my anchor solar panel system with the extra battery. That would be something really good and it would fit in this. And I could probably put the anchor panel connected to the outside of this pack. So as I'm hiking and I had sun on my back and, and I'm outdoors, it would help charge it. Or at least just roll it up. Because if you guys remember the video, if I remember, I'll link it up above. Um, uh, the anchor solar panel that I had with the battery pack, it's all self-contained. I could easily fit that in there. And that would be awesome because it could charge my cell phone and it would be able to charge the camera batteries. So that's something to think about. And again, this doesn't have a laptop. I don't own a laptop, so I would have to get one to put it in here, uh, which would be nice. I'd get another, maybe an, a MacBook Pro or something like that later down the line. But uh, I do all my editing at home. I usually just fill up all my flash drive cards and just come home and do it all. So, But this is... I mean, this is comfortable, guys. This is, I was kind of iffy about it and, and whether or not it would be very comfortable, but as you see, this this is good. I mean, it's, it doesn't feel awkward. And the pads are a little weird, you know, because I'm not used to that, but this is nice. This is a good, I'm liking this. Awesome. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much, Pelican. This will definitely be used. Um, I've got one big trip coming up soon that I'll be using this on. I'm not sure when this video comes out in relation to those trips. Um, I really wish this would have been really nice to have on the uh, uh, the uh, uh, trip to Michigan and back again. That would have been something because it was almost 6,000 miles. I was always hucking my camera around. I was stuffing everything in my little black bag, my little EDC bag you guys have seen me do. And everything was getting kind of bumped around and such, and I didn't like that. But this is awesome. This is going to be great. This will be great to use for the Northwest Overland Rally, too. Carry all my gear together, set stuff up. That is amazing. I got to stop saying that. I caught that the other day. I keep saying amazing. I got to stop that. It's not amazing. It's outstanding. It's outstanding. It's outstanding. <laughs> oh, well, guys, again, there'll be links down below. I'll have everything that you need um, to get information on this case right here or other cases through Pelican. Um, I don't have any promo codes or anything. This was sent to me by Pelican and John P., uh, so thank you both. I appreciate the support. It's very humbling to uh, uh, ha have this happening to me right now. This is amazing. Uh, so that's it, guys. It's a long video, and I didn't want it to be that long, but uh, thank you very much to both of you and everybody else that's been supporting the channel. 
Remember, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Keep me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.